The midsummer always brings about uh, customer clinics sponsored by their, their respective dealerships, and I always encourage customers uh, to attend those clinics to learn in information, important information uh, about tips and tricks, of course, uh, about their combine and headers to help th to better help them uh, get ready for the fall harvest. Uh, certain things that I'm always uh, particular about. Um, or anything related to drivetrains, so you always want to make sure that you're inspecting belts and, uh, and chains, and of course uh, er anything that has to do with the residue management system because it's the, the residue management system uh, or residue management of the current harvest is what preps next year's cropping season, so it's always important to make sure that you have your, uh, your chopper and spreaders uh, uh, running at top-notch uh, condition and performance, so Anytime you have a, a broken or worn uh, uh, knife blades, you want to make sure that those are replaced because not only is it going to result in uh, improper distribution of, uh, of material, but it's also the vibration that it can create uh, on the damage that will result on the combine as well. So it's a good, uh, a good uh, housekeeping rule to make sure that you keep the uh, residue management system running in tip-top conditions. We go into the, uh, the harvest season, especially on the, on, the, on the corn side of things. One of the things I always recommend uh, customers pay particular close attention to is making sure that the corn head is, is, uh, is well-maintained and well-set. Now, spending just a little bit of extra time paying close attention to uh, deck plate adjustment, making sure that you have the tolerances set just right, and of course a taper if necessary, because it's very easy to, uh, to uh, minimize head shatter, uh, especially in a very dry uh, corn harvest, uh, to, to, to maximize grain retention. Uh, oftentimes I notice in the fields that one of the largest culprits for grain loss is come in corn, is coming right from that corn head and just doing a couple little things better, uh, making sure that you're optimizing your feeder house or your header speed, making sure your knife rollers are in good condition. A sharp knife is going to be a lot more efficient uh, both in power and in performance, cutting quality, if those knives are, are sharp to begin with. So it's just as important to keep those knives healthy as it is the uh, the chopper knives on the combine so making sure your speeds are optimized making sure your knives are in good health that your stripper plates or deck plates on the header are also adjusted to the uh, to fit the uh, the uh, the diameter and the stalks and the conditions that you're going to be running in I always recommend that never when you see something wrong with the machine always fix it on your combine whether it be the combine or the header because a small problem or, or the start of a problem will just uh, will, it will just expand and grow into a greater one if it's not taken care of. So always, whenever you see, uh, whenever you see a, uh, an issue with the machine starting to, uh, starting to uh, come to light, um, uh, any sort of mechanical issue, a vibration, a, a belt that's starting to separate, loose chains, make sure you don't start the season with those. Fix those before season. During season, it's always a good idea on a daily basis um, when you're going around checking and tensioning chains and belts and looking and greasing the combine, make sure you take take heed of those uh, potential uh, risk factors on the combine. Just keep the machine running at, at, in, uh, at, in good health. At the end of harvest, make sure that you clean the combines out because, uh, because all sorts of uh, plant residue and grain residue attract all sorts of uh, uh, other pests into the combine. Make sure your rock trap is cleaned out pests they always attract other pests and then they uh, and then they start to eat on wiring and other uh, rubber and plastic items on the combine so so you don't want them to start wearing into those uh, so it's always a good idea to make sure you get that machine well cleaned uh, before you put it away one nice thing about the Lexian combine is because we don't have any shoe augers in the machine uh, this is ideal for the seed producer as well as for, for winter storage is the floor sections of our uh, our preparation pan, which is the conveyor that lies right underneath the threshing system, uh, those panels move, or you can pull those right out through the rock trap, which makes cleaning the combine out between crops or for uh, winter storage very, very easy. So, so pay close attention to all those nooks and crannies that want to hold grain and hold dust and debris on there. Make sure those are all cleaned out before you put it up, and make sure you well uh, grease it real good before you put it up as well.